Hi guys, this is Dr. Pritesh Singh and with me is Dr. Vaibhav Garg who secured 12th rank in INI CT November 24 and guys you must be knowing he secured rank 1 NEET PG 2024. So many many congratulations Vaibhav for your amazing and wonderful performance. Heartiest congratulations from the whole team Prep Ladder. Tell us something about yourself. Uh, thank you so much sir for the lovely best wishes and blessings and uh, sir I am uh, Dr. Vaibhav Garg from Government Medical College, Chandigarh, and I have secured rank 12 in this INICT November 2024. Okay, so what are your plans since you are also rank 1 NEET PG? So first of all, everybody wants to know that which branch you are going to join. Sir, I am planning to take upon medicine. Medicine, okay. So from NEET PG, you want to opt medicine or for, from INICT? Uh, sir, I am planning to take from INICT now. Obviously. <laughs> Okay, so how was you know, but how was the preparation strategy for NEET PG? Because students want to know that what's the difference between you know preparation for NEET PG and INICT. Sir, I think that uh, NEET PG nowadays is more uh, clinical scenario based questions, right. and they're long clinical sim questions. Right. So uh, in that uh, third and fourth prof holds the major predominance, the clinical yeah. subjects, yes. and the first and second prof are uh, asked, but they are asked in an integrated fashion. True. Like some values are given or histopathological image or hematological uh, that image peripheral blood smear is given and you have to right. integrate it in the uh, question. But ultimately it wants to ask the management or the diagnosis part. But in INICT, it is more fact heavy and uh, it uh, just goes into deep uh, of that top into depth of that topic and can ask from like uh, from the pathophysiology or uh, anatomy embryology right they go more in depth and of the first and second prof subject right 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 so how was your preparation strategy <clears throat> means from the beginning in which prof you started and how you started your preparation it was anti retro sir i um, in the, initially my focus used to be to uh, study for uh, whichever subjects were in that prof study right. those prof subjects well right. and uh, as such mcq oriented study i started in uh, beginning of third year only Right. And uh, before that, I uh, took sub uh, I supplemented the videos with the standard textbooks in second year for pathology and for uh, pharmacology. But right. mainly, uh, I started MCU related studies from third year, and I started solving question bank. Right. And uh, then in third year and final year, I watched the videos of third and final prof. Right. And uh, then uh, a few subjects of the first second prof I had seen already, and the ones which are left, I saw in internship. Okay. And then uh, I revised the whole, uh, I tried to revise as much as I could uh, in the, during the first read. And then I, uh, I then I started watch, watching revision sources and uh, the LRR and I tried to integrate uh, the important points into one single resource. Okay. So there should be single source of information for each and every subject. So you collect so towards the end, I think if we can consolidate everything exactly. in, uh, as much as we can consolidate so it will help in revising at the last three months or one month so that uh, comes in handy sir. Okay. that is so how many revisions you had before you know going for need pg uh sir uh initially the revisions i had planned according to that it would be held in march or according to the may inict right. so after uh till that time i had uh, managed uh, three four revisions Okay. Then uh, when it got postponed, so I managed two, three more revisions and then one, two more after the need to till the INICT. Right. So that was an opportunity for you. Yes. <laughs> okay. Second thing, suppose you are having great rank one, obviously anybody see, this is the apex of success, right? The dream come true. Okay. So how did you manage? Suppose you are having already rank one in your hand. So sometimes we have this kind of feeling, yaar ki hai mere paas rank one, I will get my dream college, dream branch. So why to study? But since you have revised it so nicely and you prepare for three three long years so nicely. So after that result, how you you know manage to study again and you manage to consolidate the things again? Uh, so actually, uh, I come uh, from a family where there are no doctors, so nobody is very much aware which examination will lead to an entrance to which institute. So everyone is yeah. saying that you have got rank one now to AIMS Delhi. Pakka. So I was like, this is a different exam and that AIMS Delhi exam is different, which is in November. Exactly. And then uh, I would like to say special thanks to NBE and counseling committee for delaying it so much that I <laughs> had another option now and an opportunity. So exactly. I saw that uh, the counseling is getting delayed. So I uh, started again so right. and I I knew because I had 
revised it multiple times so right. i knew that what all areas i should focus more on now and what are more infct oriented some of those topics i had to do more in depth and right. i tried to uh, revise it one more time and side by side ski practice grand tests and uh, subject wise tests so uh, to, so as to regain the momentum back right second thing <clears throat> there are lots of students who didn't well, know perform well in the, in the neat pg and they are obviously preparing for the coming neat pg so what should be your advice for those aspirants and second one group is who are going again for the exam and the second group is freshers means who just completed the final year whose internship is started and for the next year they are preparing so what kind of advice you want to give to do, those guys sir uh, for those who are uh, repeating after this neat pg uh, i would like to say that uh, you have to introspect where have you gone wrong and what all mistakes you did this time because if you will do everything exactly the same way as you did this time and no change in the strategy or the mcu solving ability or in the practice of the test then there would not be much difference because competition is always it is getting more and more from every year uh, yes and yeah. you have to introspect and uh, whichever lacuna you find with if the uh, content was the lacuna that you did not do much content your subject some of your subjects were left in revision you have to master that and revise them multiple times and consolidate it as uh, much as you can and if the exam day did not go well you were not able to manage your time well or you got uh, you uh, when you were anxious and you were not calm in the exam you were not reading the questions properly you were not ruling out the options properly you were jumping to answer and sometimes these things happen and these do affect the rank yes, yes and knowledge is one part and actually applying that to the exam is different, different. so you have to introspect if the exam did not go well then you have to practice your mcu solving skill, uh, ability and you have to do uh, it in a more time bound manner so that you are uh, you are able to manage it next time and in a much better way because the questions in neat pg are lengthier so you have to manage time accordingly so and you have to uh, learn how to look at the buzzwords in the clinical scenario so yeah. that along with the speed you do not miss out on important key words which are there in question which help you to make the right choice yes so you have to focus where you are lacking true and for the freshers i would like to say that uh, you keep on with the momentum do little bit each day because sometimes internship duties are hectic sometimes hectic. they are lighter so you have to you can plan your subjects accordingly like in the lighter internship you can do heavier subject like major subject surgery ops gyne pathology the major subjects you can do in lighter postings and in minor postings minor subjects you can do in the lighter postings so that you can adequately utilize whole of your time well without getting uh, disturbed by duties and other things which are coming in your path right. so if you will consistently keep working then obviously in the last uh, few months last three four months you will have to do uh, give full days like uh, be more dedicated towards the preparation but if you will continue then it will become much easier for you rather than if you are thinking that i will start once everything is over then it then it's a real uh, problem because you have to start everything and you cannot complete in less amount of time so okay. just keep on doing everything a little day every day right right every day every day right so one thing is that preparation is i mean you have to prepare properly and practice is most important for repeaters because that yes. examination scenario is obviously stressful environment and if you are not going to practice gts in time bound manner obviously you are going to lack and sometimes i have seen some students are exhausted after yes. one and half hours they are totally exhausted then whatever answer comes in the mind on spinal level they use they start marking that okay b c like that yes so practice is very important and it's not 100 meter race it's a marathon so yes. that kind of you as told by you that practice is very important especially for repeaters and sometimes we understand that okay the chota subject hai ye to ho jayega chhod dete hain and whenever we are going for the exam actually those sub subjects are pinching us most in the exam yes oh silly mistakes ho jate hain do options mein right yes definitely okay, one more thing um, <clears throat> just suppose somebody is going to finish everything right so how to utilize the last month and last week and last day fashion because last month and last week and last day all these are very stressful situations and as exam is you know coming closer the stress keeps on increasing exponentially so how to handle that uh, sir uh, you have to matlab uh, i would say that plan your revisions in such a way that you know what you have to revise in the last 10 days right. and you not worried ki what all i have to say see 
and I have to look this from this, this from this. You have to consolidate it beforehand and revise it. Like in the last three months also, you are revising the same thing that you will revise in last 10, 15 days. But you have to do it in a more fast paced and in more consolidated manner right. so that you already know what you all have to see. And in the last day, just try to be calm because most uh, it, the uh, whatever you have studied in last 10, 15 days most likely contributes half of the uh, information, but half comes from your long term knowledge. Whichever you have studied in MBBS days or you have seen in, during internship, it, half of the answers most likely come from there. So if you are calm in the exam, only then you will be able to rule out the options and reach the right answer. So you don't get panicked that I have to cover so much flavors on the last day and this is also left, this is also left. Just uh, do a little bit like you can review your mistakes or you can uh, go through any small notebook, 20th notebook you have made. You can flip through the pages of that. But you don't uh, overstress yourself on the last day. Just plan for the last 10, 15 days and go about it and sleep peace, uh, try to sleep uh, well in time. All right. So one more thing that how, I mean, uh, you studied from prep ladder. So how prep ladder sources helped you in preparation? And second, how the prep ladder sources helped you in revision? Sir, I uh, started with uh, the videos uh, in my, I think, second year. Okay. for a few subjects and uh, majority in, in the final year i uh, watched uh, deepak marwasar's videos and uh, minakshi ma'am's videos for pediatrics and deepak marwasar's videos for, uh, for medicine and some of the, your videos also for not for all of the subjects but for major for many okay. coffee, uh, for many topics i saw your videos and for for some of the minor subjects so i uh, went through the main videos in my final year okay. for a few subjects and uh, then uh, in my internship, uh, I tried to consolidate whichever subjects I had seen from uh, the main videos. I right. tried to do their uh, re revision notes, right. RR notes. And so there should be a single source. You consolidated everything to one point of time. It means eight notes may have to Yes, sir. And okay. uh, sometimes that also becomes tedious too. Then you can make a 20th notebook out of that okay. and consolidate it for the last. Bilkuli, last day will like, last well, last week or last day well, strategy yeah, that, then uh, you can all further consolidate it yes important mnemonics and all those you know latest questions and <laughs> criteria yes, classification yes. that's really yes. good. okay okay so Abo, so it was really amazing interaction with you and i hope Thank the you students think. are going to get benefited from this interaction all the very best from the whole team prep ladder thank you so much sir. thank you thank you